الحمد لله رب العالمين ونصلي ونسلم على رسولنا الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد If you want to be happy make others happy you become the most happiest of person because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is thankful for all the good and sacrifices you might do when you think of helping someone an animal, a plant when you bring a smile on a child's face or a family that is in hardship I know a poor man who suffered from heart disease and he needed surgery and we, as we all know this particular type of surgery is extremely expensive and this man didn't have any means he did not have a dime to pay for the surgery I visited this man and his home at the atmosphere of this home was very gloomy very sad the man is a father and a husband and a very charitable man came to know of this poor man's situation and took it upon himself to pay for this man's surgery for the sake of Allah after some time and this man was able to go back home the man that had the surgery done upon him we came to find this man and his whole family very cheerful being happy that he can still continue to be a husband and a father to his children this man that took it upon himself to ease the pain of this family is recognized by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is placed in a very high status so if you want happiness bring happiness to others because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is thankful to those who do good for his sake Allah will bring happiness to them we say oh Allah bring blessings upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and his family and our Prophet is the most happiest of all people because of all the happiness and the good he brought to all of mankind all of mankind by the will of Allah till this very day happiness doesn't come from money it doesn't happen through the riches of this world it comes when you have a connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if you bring forth any good actions through easing hardship for others Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is thankful and Allah will reward you and give you that peace of mind and heart that the, all of mankind yearn for a man once ran into a couple that were strangers to this particular city and they had a child that was very ill had a very high fever these people were refugees they had no money no food no type of transportation no way to get to a hospital and this man took it upon himself to stay with them he helped them in a time of desperate need driving them from hospital to hospital clinic to clinic to find a doctor to treat this child that was very high in fever where was the mercy in these people's hearts that would turn a boy like this away so this man stayed with this family until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed for this child's temperature to start to decrease and come out of the danger zone this man that helped this family swears by Allah he was in total bliss and happiness and blessings for about two weeks he felt this once I walked into a government hospital and we know what type of treatment most government hospitals might give to its patients you might barely get the proper treatment and in this particular hospital there was a doctor that treated every single person that came to him with the utmost respect and dignity while giving them the best treatment available and this doctor and I quote it's like I am in heaven this is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is thankful for what good or sacrifice that you do 
to in order to ease other others' pain. Once Sayyidna Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Rasulullah sallallahu the cousin of our beloved Prophet, was in i'tikaf in the mosque of in the masjid of the Prophet sallallahu i'tikaf is a retreat of worship and he has to stay fixed for a particular time in the masjid and while he was in worship a man walked in to the masjid into this mosque looking very depressed and Ibn Abbas asked this man why do I see you looking very depressed the man answered I am in a huge debt and it's time to pay off this debt and I don't have anything to pay this man off I have nothing to pay this debt Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu he asked the man who do you owe this debt to Ibn Abbas offered the man do you give me permission to go speak with him the man replied acknowledge yes please as Ibn Abbas was walking out a man noticed him and said Oh Ibn Abbas, did you forget that you're in i'tikaf, the worshipping retreat, and you can't leave? Ibn Abbas said, By Allah, I did not forget, but I once heard by the one that is in this grave right now, meaning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, while weeping. Wallahi, by Allah, if I walk with someone, for his need, this is the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa By Allah, if I walk with someone in order to ease this person's hardship or pain or whatever their need be, is better than fasting for a month and being in i'tikaf, being in this worship retreat in my masjid itself. So no. Being there for others is a big deal take of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So open up your hearts to bring ease to each other. Ease each other's pains and hardships. No matter if it's big or small. And know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is thankful for every good you do for His sake. And you can never lose by following these teachings. And if you gain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better and best. Allahu a'la wa a'lam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. أضحى الإسلام لنا دينا وجميع الكون لنا